everybody, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. Today I'm at the wall to go over chest expansion. You want to lean against the wall, your feet can be a few inches away from the wall, and you want to have your tailbone in the wall and your shoulders in the wall, and you're going to prioritize your shoulders over your head being against the wall, right? I love teaching this at the wall because it really helps you learn the powerhouse connection necessary in chest expansion. Also, when we ride and somebody tells us to bring our shoulders back, we have a tendency to really fix them back, which really arches our back and kind of gives us a stiff spine in the saddle. It's not very malleable and it blocks the horse's back. So chest expansion is a great way to learn how to bring your shoulders onto your back while maintaining your powerhouse connection. So you're at the wall, tailbone in the wall, shoulders in the wall, and if you can, the back of your head will be against the wall. If you can't, it's okay. You're gonna start with your hands down by your side, and you're gonna take a nice inhale and bring your hands back into the wall, gently pressing. You're gonna hold your breath and look over your right shoulder and then your left shoulder, and you're gonna come back to center and exhale, release. So the movement itself is very easy, but what tends to happen in the movement as we bring our arms back is we push our chest up and we pop our ribs forward. So what you wanna be very cautious of and what you wanna keep with you is a softening rib cage. So the rib cage is actually gonna help you lift into the wall. So you're going to inhale and bring the arms back, soften the ribs and open the shoulders. Look to side, to side, and then you're gonna exhale, release your hands forward. I'm gonna do about four of them. Make sure that when you're coming back to the wall and you're opening your chest, that you're thinking your collarbones are what's lengthening side to side. Your sternum is gonna rotate up towards your chin in this exercise. Make sure you breathe in, hold the breath, and breathe out. It's a great way to feel the connection, the soft ribs, but also the open chest and lifted shoulders that everybody really wants for their posture. Whether you ride or you just want to work on good posture, this is an excellent exercise. I also tell all of my clients who are at their desk during the day, this is a great way to get up and lift yourself and work your breath in between moments at your computer, at your desk. So if you're looking for a nice exercise to kind of help posture, help your connection, help your spine and breathe, this is a great one to do. I'll see you next.